Nikita Kucherov doesn't get as much recognition as he should, and there are probably many reasons for that. The middle finger he gave the league during this year's skills competition certainly didn't help his case. But results don't lie, and the story they tell is that no other player has been as productive over the past six seasons as the man known as Kuch. Kucherov may not have the kind of highlight reel that we've come to expect from other superstars. He doesn't possess the blazing speed of McDavid and McKinnon, the goal-scoring prowess of Ovechkin and Matthews, or the 200-foot play of Bergeron. His career totals won't put him in the company of guys like Gretzky, Lemieux, or Crosby. Instead, Kuch is just one of those guys who does everything well. And yet adding these traditional skills together somehow doesn't quite explain the value Kucherov adds or the talent he possesses. So in this video, we're going to take a look at what makes this guy a true magician. Kucherov is dangerous every time he steps on the ice, and the biggest reason is that he knows what to do with the puck before he gets it. In approaching the game like a soccer player with a brilliant first touch, he demonstrates that the most important skill in hockey isn't skating fast, shooting hard, or putting guys through the boards. It's seeing the play before it happens. Now it might seem like Kuch is solving every scenario as it's happening, but he actually leverages a few common themes in order to make decisions faster. The first is return to sender. A lot of times Kuch's first look is to go back to where the puck came from. The second is when you have an open net, pass. Seriously, just when you think that Kuch couldn't possibly forego a shot, he finds someone even more open than he is. He continues to do this even though everyone knows he's going to. Other times I really do think Kuch is making things up on the fly and these are the sorts of one-touch plays that cause serious fans, including other players, to shake their heads in disbelief. Watch this incredibly subtle bump that sends Hagel in on a two-on-one. Most fans don't see this stuff and the camera barely catches it, but make no mistake that this is the world-class play that eventually results in a goal, even though Kuch doesn't register a point. This next one needs no explanation. The end result of Kuch's one-touch wizardry is that whatever he does, he does half a second before everyone else. At the highest level of the game, that half second makes all the difference. But Kuch also does a bunch of things that nobody else does, period. Kuch is the only player I've ever watched that routinely finds plays that I can't see from the vantage point of a spectator. How about this one where he gives point a bank pass off the end boards? Bank passes have been done before, but it's usually a set play and the puck is shot with force. Instead, Kuch does it on the fly with barely a windup. Look at it from this angle. There is literally no other way to get this to Point. Point won't make this window in time, and even if he does, he might get cleaned out by Haig who starts moving toward the gap. Instead, Haig's anticipation ends up giving Point a free pass to the net. What about this next one where Stammer falls down only to have Cooch find him when he gets up? The game seems to be moving at warp speed for everyone not named Nikita. This next example is difficult to spot, but perfectly encapsulates Cooch's creativity. He doesn't have the pass he wants on the entry, so he casually goes to his backhand, close to top speed and right along the blue line, until a lane finally opens up. The only way a player can be so serene in a situation like this is that he not only sees, but also processes the game faster than everyone else. On a similar note, watch how Cooch goes through his progressions like a quarterback here, only this is way more impressive because nobody called a play in the huddle and Cooch is looking over his shoulder as he does it. If you're wondering why current and former NHLers pay this guy so much respect, it's because of stuff like this. In a 40 second shift, there are literally thousands of different positions in which to get the puck, and Cooch seems prepared for about 90% of them. But even when he isn't, things just seem to work out for him. Before we get to the final part of the video, please consider subscribing to or liking our content. Your support is what allows my brothers and I to produce the sort of in-depth analysis you've come to expect from along the ice, and we want you to know that we greatly appreciate it. Okay, back to Cooch. Like all great magicians, there's a percentage of Cooch's act that remains inexplicable. Even we at Along the Ice, after watching this guy for hundreds of hours, are often confused. At first I thought Cooch must be lucky, but the thing about luck is that if you do it sustainably, it's no longer luck. But how else do you explain some of these plays? Cooch is the kind of guy you want to feed about a thousand times throughout the season because anytime the puck goes near him, good things happen. If he doesn't know what to do with it immediately, he'll figure something out soon enough. And if all else fails, he seems to keep a rabbit's foot at the bottom of his skate. There are a lot of things that make Kucherov special that we didn't cover in this video. We could have talked about his board play, his backhand passing, his calmness and precision, and the benefits of having a nasty toe. I guess that's the thing about Kuch. You could talk about him forever and not run out of things to say. But sometimes it's just better to sit back and watch. <laughs>